there's other things I want to talk about today. Other things I want to talk about. Now, you may remember back in June, I had this conversation. Or June last year, I had a conversation about uh, an event that happened in East Kilbride. Um, not long, what was it, Monday after the live stream in May. It was a, th it was a bank holiday Monday. And there was a gas explosion. And um, I have the, the piece that I talked about cut down with the bits of the actual conversation here about what happened. Because I've got a bit of an update of things I've noticed um, going forward today in the local area and my thoughts and feelings about it. And linking to something else that happened a couple months later, which makes me kind of back up my thoughts of why things are taking as long as they are. But here's the clip from the original, the article and everything else from here. Um, as I say, I have my windows open all the time and it was Bank Holiday Monday last month, uh, the first Bank Holiday Monday. And um, I, it was wet, it was horrible. I decided to go for my walk later on. But I decided it was Bank Holiday Monday, it was wet, I'll postpone it as long as possible so I don't have to go out and get soaked completely. Um, so I went out, went for a walk, and I decided to go through the village of East Kilbride, because I'm not far away from there. Um, and down the, uh, more or less down near the end of my street, there was police tape. And a road close sign. And I'm going, what? What's happened here? So I'm able to walk down Summer Stewart Street and past Montgomery, past Hunter Street, onto Main Street. And um, I walked around through Hunter Street, Montgomery Street and came out at Kittick, Kittick Street. Didn't notice anything at Kittick Street, typical, until later. Because um, it was a good view of what the circumstances. Walked up, passed behind the co-op in East Kilbride and then out. And there's a policeman standing and I'm saying, oh, what's happened to you? And he said, well, you've not checked social media then, have you? I said, no, no, I haven't. So I had a quick look and checked and had a look and um, put event, East Kilbride, usual stuff. And um, it had been cordoned off since about half past 11 that morning with a gas explosion, potential gas explosion. It's now being confirmed that it is a gas explosion um, in one of the flats just across the road from the co-op. And I'm going, wow, OK, that's horrible. Um, so I've had an article here with, with limited adverts, and hopefully it will come up on screen so you can see it. Um, see, trying to find something that's not got lots of adverts down the side that distracts from things is annoying. Um, so there's a new site here. We've got it here, um, which is the new site for the Herald newspaper. Uh, the, it's reporting two people hurt after explosion in East Kilbride on the 3rd of uh May. Now, the thing that annoyed me was my windows are open, and if the wind's fair, I can hear noises from the village. Um, but obviously the wind must be going the other direction because I heard nothing at half past 11. But there's a big explosion. So the, the article from 3rd of May says uh, two people have been hurt in a suspected gas explosion in Lanarkshire. Police paramedics and fire crews rushed to a block of flats in Main Street after being called around 11.25 that day. So yeah, police paramedics and fire crews rushed to a block of flats in Main Street after being called around 11.25 on Monday. That was the 3rd of May. Uh, pictures from the incident appear to show severe damage to one building and looks like a hole in the roof of a third floor flat. It was a second floor flat technically, but I'm not going to argue in that. One witness said a window had been blown 50 feet onto the path, which is now within the cordon area. The road has been closed and police Scotland confirmed that a number of people have been evacuated from surrounding buildings as a precaution. Uh, police Scotland, Scotland spokesman said emergency services are currently dealing with an incident in Main Street East Kilbride around 11.25 on Monday the 3rd of May. Police received a report of an explosion. Main Street is closed and a number of people have been evacuated as a precaution from the surrounding buildings. Um, and look at that. And that damage was for everybody to see. Um, and it still is to an extent. Look at the window there, look. Window sitting there. Um, and the damage was still there for all to see. And it was it sat like that for a couple of weeks until they started getting rid of the debris. And I'll come to that in a minute. So two people have been injured and been attended in paramedics. One of them ended up in hospital at the Royal Infirmary. I, I believe he's out now, but he was injured. Um, nobody died, fortunately, but it's, it's, just, it, it's horrible. Um, it was suspected, but it was confirmed later on it is actually a gas explosion, which is which is horrible. Um, Scottish Fire and Rescue Service burn, spokesman said, We were alerted at 11.23am Monday the 3rd of May to reports of a building on fire in Main Street East Kilbride. Operators control immediately mobilised six appliances, additional special rescue equipment to the three-storey tenement block. On arrival, firefighters found the scene of suspected gas explosion on the third floor. Crews remain in attendance as they work to make the building safe and real closures are in place. Um, South Lancashire Council asked for members of the public to avoid the immediate area while emergency services work. They tweeted, we ask you to avoid the village area of East Kilbride for now to allow emergency services to deal with ongoing incident. Which, of course, everybody did, including me, because I had no idea about it until about five hours later. Wow. 
wasn't prepared for that. Um, <laughs> so yes, that was the situation there with that, and basically the explosion. They did they did, the, the the repair work is more or less done, but they kind of condemned the building, so they are going to knock them down. So I was walking past the other day. It's earlier on today, actually, and it was um, a, a building company's now got um, that's been fenced off still the same as it has been for the past nine months. And a building company is now showing up their banner on it. So it looks like they're just about to start demolishing the flats. 12 flats. People have... These people have, have never come back, I don't think, and got their kit. Got their stuff. They're, they're completely homeless. But it's taken 11 months to get to the stage where potentially we've got a builder now who will be happy to rebuild on the site once, once the old stuff's knocked down. Um, and I'm trying to think, why would it take so long to knock down effectively a derelict building and the reason why i cite that is because there's a there was another incident a couple of months later where a lorry from a well-known um lorry courier um was stolen and the joy rider took a, a rampage around east Kilbride and ended up crashing into a, a house in a new estate in the nurston uh called like in lancaster crescent and um the lorry was the lorry then reversed away and was found at the little car park just by the town centre. And I passed it I'm going, Ooh, that lorry looks like it's had a bit of damage to it. I wonder what happened to it and then obviously read all the articles about it. But the house got knocked down about twenty four hours, forty hours later. And I'm thinking, Well, that's substantial damage from, from obviously it must have been very damaged. But it took twenty four, forty hours to knock down that place. Why has it taken so long to knock down the block of flats surely they'll be able to do safety checks and do everything and start the process sooner rather than later and it's kind of i was thinking about that and i'm going well actually maybe the reason could be and i may be thinking is, is that it's in a conservation area and changes like that can take a while for planning and everything else to get things sorted because effectively the building itself is part of a conservation area when it's designated i mean the buildings themselves are only 60 70 years old but um it was an interesting thought thinking well why would the building not be knocked down yet and it's probably because of the conservation area stuff that's happening and also the fact you've got 12 households to deal with and not just one and there's a lot more red tape to go through i suppose so it just it just depresses me this there's, there's a big gap in this flat where they've taken away most of the most of the damage and it's just a big gap here um where the flat was and they've done not much work to it all recently but it, it looks like things are changing we might have a, a a change to the east Kilbride skyline uh very very soon in the village if you like this video don't forget to like it and share it with the hashtag team structure and don't forget that subscribe button so you know when a new video comes out general every video comes out at 4 p.m gmt on a sunday you can also join the patreon from at least one pound mon a month one dollar a month you can help join and support the patreon by joining the link uh, patreon.com forward slash deanstructor um yes I'm, i will see you sunday but thanks guys for watching as always i'll see you later